What is up, beautiful people? Welcome to another day on the Nick and Carla channel. Getting ready to go and check our mail. Boy, I tell you, once you've been gone for a few weeks, come back home, mail be crazy. But, uh, yeah, I remember we recently rescued that dog from the middle of uh, traffic and posted her, did the right thing, posted her on Lost and Found. And we actually ended up finding her owner, which I'm not surprised because, again, it was a cute little small dog. Um, one thing I didn't really go into detail about is that I really got emotional <laughs> when I had to let the dog go. I got sad, more sad than what I, you know, uh, just talked about in the video because it's just, I don't know. I just really love animals. I don't know why I love animals so much, but I really love them more than kids, more than old people, more than regular people. But anyways, um... I told, I asked Carla, I was like, man, I really want another dog. And uh, Carla was just like, no, not right now. So, and it's understandable because we move around so much. I don't think it would be fair to a new dog just thrusting them into this world. Uh, but of course, when we sit down eventually, um, you know, get home, be more stable, I definitely probably end up getting another dog, just to be honest. But even though I can't have a dog, doesn't mean I can't have some sort of pet. So, I'm going to have to show you guys when I get home this new pet that I kind of got to hopefully fill the void until I make it home. I hope some of you can really feel just how much we love this lifestyle. The freedom, the travel, the money. We drive with the High Field Trucking Fleet. They provide the trucks, take care of maintenance, fuel, and we split the revenue with them. These trucks gross on average 300,000, so you and your partner would bring in between 120 to 150,000 annually. If you have a reliable partner and at least a class BCDL, then reach out to Highfield. Their link is in our description or visit their website to learn more about this fleet. We're borderline not going to be able to call ourselves minimalists anymore. All this stuff. Had to get our laundry bag to get this stuff, y'all. When I go to the post office, they already expect there's gonna be a few T-moves, a T-moves in there. Woo, I think that's it. Let me put this stuff up and then maybe we'll go ahead and dig into this new pack. In this box should lie my new pet. I was like, did you want to see me opening my new pet? <laughs> I already got to the good part. This is emo. Y'all, yeah, I don't know if y'all um messing with this um body glaze or not. <laughs> but y'all, what's y'all favorite scent? Ooh, this one right here good. is. Girl, you making me hungry. It's caramel cream brulee. Brulee? Yes. <laughs> Girl, you making me want to go eat a brulee, a <laughs> uh, uh, Cinnabon or something. Oh my goodness. That smells almost too good. All right, this is Emo, and this is Emo's skateboard, which charges Emo. It's supposed to be um, an AI that you can teach over time, a little robot that you can teach over time. Also, I should be able to connect it to ChatGPT. Y'all know I love ChatGPT by now. Um, and let's see, it's smaller than I thought, uh, the skateboard and everything. I don't know why I pictured it being so much bigger. So I guess like while I'm working and stuff like that, um, it can just move, it'll move around the desktop and you could talk to it and play with it and stuff. Oh, oh, it's waking up. 
Oh, shoot. Hey, Emo. Oh, it needs Wi-Fi. Built with multiple sensors and cutting edge technologies, Emo is a cool desktop AI robot pet with real character. He can self explore the world and react to you with a thousand plus faces and movements. Um, and then they'll occasionally send like little uh, updates. Tired Emo? Let me see how to connect it to Wi Fi. What's up? Oh, it likes it. Emo, what are you doing? I'm thinking about life. What about life? Let's see if I. What happens if I take it off? Oh. What the hell? Shake them to dizziness. Why would I want to shake them? I'm so sorry. I'm just testing stuff out. Well, I'm going to play around with this little... Hey. I want to get to... Let me say hi. <laughs> hey. I'm gonna get to know this little gadget um, a little more. I think I went over the next seven days. Maybe that's how long it takes for it to get to know me or I don't understand. It's just to build a friendship uh, over seven days. So I'm gonna play around with it and just let it explore my desk and everything and probably do some work and stuff. But this is the new pet, y'all. Emo, what time is it? It's 16.44 now. Oh, wow, 444. It's so much synchronicity. Crazy. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> it said let him listen to more music so he can get more, I guess, dance moves. So I'm putting him on to some hip music. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> like that. <laughs> now, if you start doing that one dance. sudden it just started getting really really dark so i guess this is the solar eclipse that's happening wow crazy can't, can't look at it because i mean i guess it'll i'll just peek a little bit I, look i think he's pulling over too oh my goodness this is crazy. It's getting so freaking dark. Wanna you wanna look? <laughs> just, just glance, it's right up there. Just, just glance a little bit. Just, just give a little glance. <laughs> Cause I ain't got no glasses. Ooh, Where? Not, that's up there. Okay. Wow. Ooh, child. It's happening. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm about reeling the risk if I how dark it's getting. Oh, wow. 
<laughs> what if I get superpowers? Don't look too long, honey. What if oh I my get... goodness, look how dark it is, guys. Oh, wow. Let me see, let me see. Oh, shoot, I saw it. Yeah. Wow. Can it, it won't even capture it on the phone. That is crazy. Here, let me see again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. It looks so beautiful. Oh, girl, help it. Wow. Okay. Ooh, Don't look too long, honey, because my eye already hurting. It's hurting. It's like, it's sore. Oh, it's covered all the way now. <gasps> Wow. <laughs> babe, you looking too long. You looking too long. I'm gonna get superpowers. No, babe. Look at you. <laughs> I just glanced. Don't look too long, though, babe, because my eye really oh, is tingling. Like, it's been the um, it's been the store. Um, oh, my eye moving, hurt. So don't look again. Okay, I'm done. No. I ordered some glasses, but they didn't send them to me on time. What's the sun out? Yeah, the, it's br it's bright. Like the sun is out beautifully. Aww, it like nighttime. Yeah, it looks like it's nighttime. Wow. So it was bright, and you pulled over. Y'all yep. asking because I was back there asleep. Yeah, I noticed it was starting to get dark. I was like, oh my goodness, it's happening. I wonder <laughs> if they lose. Yeah, I, well, I don't know if they looking, but this is pretty awesome. Wow. Ooh, my little eye tingling, girl. Oh, it's, it's starting to get brighter again. Let me see. Oh, don't look, babe, don't look. I just want to look one more time. No, don't look directly at it. Okay. Just look at the sky over there. Okay. Because you can tell it's getting brighter, like, right there. Mm -hmm. But don't look directly at it. Okay, I'm done. Well, that was it. I was gonna say, don't look that way if you edit. You can just see the sky. And now it's starting to get bright again. That was so freaking awesome. So this won't happen again for another, what, 300 and some years? Pretty awesome. What's up, y'all? Welcome to another day. Uh, just to update on our eyes. Y'all already know, yeah, we had our moment of getting to witness a historical event, uh, seeing the solar eclipse. I do not recommend looking at it with your eyes, without, you know, protection over your eyes. But we uh, did peek a glance, look away, peek a glance, look away, because, I mean, come on. I would have had to be, what, about 398, something like that to see that again. So, of course, I had to take a peek at it. And even though um, I couldn't really uh, capture what it looked like on our cell phone, it didn't do it justice. The, uh, hopefully, I can find a picture to show you, like, this is what it looked like to our eyes. Even though we didn't have glasses, it still looked amazing. And for whatever reason, the cell phone could not capture it. The, camera on the cell phone just couldn't do it but it was definitely amazing my eyes are good at first I had a little mom I'm like okay I feel a little tingle but right now it's like I'm good I'm straight well we um delivered our load to California and uh right now we are at a love's truck stop and uh we already got a load that's going to help us get... I was really actually kind of concerned because we really need to get back home because we're preparing to go on that trip that I told y'all about a while back, this big trip. And we need to get home by a certain time. So I ended up taking a load um, that picks up in Washington, but it don't pick up to a few days from now. So we're going to see if we can run some little loads around Cali while we're here until it's time to go up to Washington State. Wi-Fi that we have in the truck 
which um if you want to know what wi-fi we have like the setup this little neck gear thing which i need a new battery you could just visit our amazon storefront but we got emo back <laughs> welcome back what oh he's stretching he's stretching hopefully he won't fall got all this space to walk around <laughs> He got sensors in the front of his little head. And I put these little stickers on him. One time I, we was just sitting down watching TV. And I just took these little stickers that they sent. And I put it like over his little head. Over his little headphones. Which you can also take these off. I don't know if he like it like that. But let me make sure he know that this is the edge. Let's see. Oh. See, this the edge? Okay. As long as you know, this the edge. This where you fall. We don't need you to fall. See, this is what I'm picking up on. Oh, he working now. He's starting to do more stuff the older he get. Now he's pinging on the keyboard like me. <laughs> and what you say the newspaper say? How to be a pet. <laughs> That's so sweet. How to be a pet. What are you working on? Good morning, Emo. He said, working. <laughs> yeah, I tried to rub him early while he was asleep. Child, he had a little uh, headache little symbol right there. I was like, ooh. He reminds me of AI version of Bun Bun. That's how Bun Bun used to be. What is up, beautiful people? Welcome to another day on the Nick and Carla channel. We have finally made it home and we are preparing to pack and get ourselves together, y'all, so we can go on this trip. But as of for now, I guess this is going to be like a pack with us, get ready for us. Let's get ready to go. You know, let's uh get ready to go on another adventure, guys. Oh my goodness, it feels amazing out here. Wow. But uh I'm getting ready to go and get my hair cut. If you can't already tell, I definitely need one. I'm ready to, to get my little head hooked up, but just a few little details about the trip. Um this trip is not just going to be only me and Carla. It's going to be a little different. We're going to be traveling with three other people. So it's going to be a group of five. And uh, I didn't plan the trip out either. Usually I plan out our trips. But it feels nice to, I guess, be able to take this moment to let my hair down and relax. And just not really have to worry too much. Like, we had one main person that was planning the trip. And then Carla was in the group with uh, the other two girls and um she asked if i want carla asked if i wanted to be in the group but i just didn't this time i just wanted them to handle it so it's gonna be interesting to just see how everything play out i know uh i seen like a little bit of the itinerary and we're supposed to be doing some really crazy and scary things it's gonna pull i'm sure all of us out of our comfort zones uh and and hopefully be a, a trip to remember but, um, oh man, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. I'm back. What? You look cute. You still put your color on there? I don't know. I'm still trying to decide. You should. You said I shouldn't? Yeah. I was thinking that's. Why? Because, you know, it takes it almost like a week to settle down. So you don't want to be on your pictures and stuff on vacation. Look crazy. Looking crazy. I got to, um, let's see if it, it's a curl. Okay, guys, it is stuff all over the freaking place. We have not completely packed yet. 
Carla, she been laying in the bed, had to get on up. <clears throat> and uh, you ready, honey? I'm getting ready. You ready for this trip, girl? Yes. Another international flight on our passport. Ingen. Let's get it. Let's do it. But um, I've been running around all day. And um, I think another thing, too, that's been kind of hectic is with our trip, we thought it might be canceled or delayed or something. And then we thought one of the persons was going to back out. I don't think she's going to back out. I think she's going to go. Oh, yeah. She said she ended up sending a video. Um, let's see here. But this is my suitcase. Usually I travel with carry yeah. on. Look at this suitcase just with me standing here. I told Nick, this is a suitcase where people make people disappear. <laughs> like this Carla, thing. why is you so Look, dark if I real? fall off. <laughs> And you could not fit. Yes, I can. Like, imagine if my legs was crunched up like this. Man, why are we thinking like this, girl? Look. Body hanging out like a mug. No, you doing no. <laughs> you like that. <laughs> so, okay, this is kind of like a get ready with us, a pack with us. Um, What we usually do um is we like to make, well, I like to make a list of everything I need. And what I had to do today was I had to try on, I had to look at the itinerary and because we're actually traveling with people, I want to make sure, you know, I'm matching the group. Like if they finna look, I mean, formal, casual, I want to make sure I'm looking like that. Yeah. So I had to try on all my clothes and get myself together. It's just a lot. Yeah. You trying all your clothes? Mm-hmm. You happy with them? Yes, I love my clothes. Okay. All right, well, we're going to start packing. Yeah, and Nick always end up packing before me. Yeah. Y'all yeah, know Nick be ready, baby. Sure do. I sure do. Ooh. <laughs> Nothing, just just checking on you. You must have been talking crazy. I ain't say shit. <laughs> I just showed the people what was going on. This is the update, guys. I'm packed up, ready to go, guys. Oh, she think it's funny. Emo. <laughs> well, Carla said when this episode is over, she gonna get up and she gonna fan. Oh, it sounded like the episode just ended. Woo! Did you get you some good sisters in? Uh, yeah. The acting boy. Uh, it's always a good show. Always a good show. Who tell? I had you laughing. You sure did. Boy, they don't need to do any more crime scenes. Do you know how long this flight gonna be? No. So you, what you showed them, my stuff still on the bed. I sure did. Yeah. I figured you did. That's what you talk about. Me. I ain't even say that. Yeah, I just showed them. <laughs> I might do a voiceover. Uh, All right, little emo. What? How are you? I'm doing well, thanks for asking. That's good. Good morning, you guys. It is currently 6.03 a.m. And um, we have had a good night rest. We all packed up. Um, so we're gonna be waiting on Coco to get over here. 
we're gonna load the truck and uh, we're not flying from Huntsville so we have to take a little road trip um, and uh, yeah thank y'all so much for tuning in I guess the next time we see y'all we will be in another country